and we're back with more Project Zomboid Trailer Trash. Just getting around to finally cleaning up my house after all the unwelcome guests we've had. Okay. This will probably use up the last of our bleach as well. Actually, it'll depend. We've got some blood stains around the place that are there, but that you can't really see. So it definitely depends how deep we go with this deep clean. to try to fix up these black lines. They're here because there used to be a fence here and I guess it added some texture to it. Uh, for us it's just like many things just a bit of a reminder of how dirty this place used to be. Okay so as with the rest of the place this takes away a little bit of the character perhaps that puts our stamp on the building. I think after this if we actually lay down some of that concrete of which we still have quite a lot even after the driveway. Um, yeah, maybe we can actually do something with this, I don't know what you call this, a loading dock maybe? Yeah, we definitely don't have enough concrete to do the entire place and honestly it would probably be a bit boring without any uh, any cracks and, and marks and oil stains and things, but I think we can uh, do, some, do some good work here, maybe find something creative So rather than try to clean those dirt stains up by the by the roller doors, I think we'll just lay our concrete down. First, I think we had some blood out on the stairs. Now I don't even remember killing a guy here. I'm wondering if this maybe splashed down from above, or perhaps this is just um, totally ancient. like there's still some stuff there but I can't actually clean it. God damn light bulbs. I am forever replacing light bulbs in this place. Yeah I should try to kill these things cleaner or maybe lure them outside next time. Though hopefully there never is a next time. Okay, let's try some concreting. Got a couple of buckets and we've got a plumb sink right nearby, so that's not a problem. Okay, that, that meshes up nicely. Okay, good. It looks like we don't have to put down wooden flooring first or anything. This will just uh, cover and kill everything that's on the ground. It is helpful to have a few plumb sinks around a base, especially when it's this size. It's sort of got to be at the edge of the base, generally speaking, because this is a two-story room in a three-story building. So we can't have a barrel up on the roof. That one's actually hanging off the back of the building on a scaffold. I'm thinking I'm going to leave a strip down here, down the middle, and we'll put, um, I don't know, maybe some of those uh, potted plants we have here. In theory, I could put hedges, like I could actually lay dirt and put a line of, uh, of tall hedges there. That might look interesting, like I've, I've long considered putting one of those in a room. Of course, there is the whole walking through them, having them tear your neck open and, uh, and almost kill you thing. That's a... Uh, an issue. I guess you just don't walk through them. But these raised plant beds, uh, those ones you can't walk through, so there's that. 
Now it'll make driving in and out of here a little bit more difficult, but now, now that we've got the roller door on the other side as well, we don't have to do big turns or, or try to back things up out of here. Might just go over that. Yeah, excellent. Why am I doing this in the middle of the night, by the way? This would be so much easier. Well, not easier, but this would be a, a little bit easier or certainly more visual to do uh, in the daytime. Now, I know Project Zomboid has got some lighting changes coming up with the next big patch. Um, and that are actually going to, I think, depend on whether you have, you know, doors and windows open and things like that. Whereas now you can just... You can just look at how dark a room is and figure whether it's light, night or day. Whereas, yeah, down here we have almost no windows on this entire floor and so it would probably be pitch black most of the time which which is a bummer or there's something we'll have to overcome i've got a mod to make our light bulbs last longer and i then got a mod to like make them last even longer than that and it's still not getting the job done for us okay morning now so we can see things a bit better yeah i think these will look really good here uh the question just is do i lay some flooring under them i think i might we should have some planks outside still from when we were working on the driveway. I, f I figured out that that door is actually in backwards. Like, if it's locked and we try to run into it from this side, it automatically unlocks and lets us in. Whereas it won't let us come like from inside the building to outside the building. So, yeah, I guess that means it's it it thinks the inside and the outside are the other way, or it's been installed in in such a way that that ought to be the case. Now we are playing with sprinters that can open doors, but they can't open locked doors, even when they're on the uh, the unlockable side of the door, which there's probably a term for that. The inside, I guess, is usually what you'd use. Yeah, so even if a sprinter's on that door, I'm 99% sure it wouldn't be able to open it from the outside, even if we can open it from the outside without a key. Yeah, we should have a bunch more of these, yep. Three over here we can probably use. They looked okay in these corners, but as you can tell, this wall is one of the one of the distant reaches of the base that we, we haven't even taken that graffiti off yet, and we're probably out of bleach again, so I guess it's not coming off. Not this time. But yeah, this is looking nice. Maybe we can find some more stuff to put in the walls as well. Ironically, while talking about taking the graffiti off, I'd actually like a mod to let us add graffiti to walls. Uh, it'd be a very Chloe Price thing to do, and I don't—I don't think it's hypocritical or, or even ironic for us to take graffiti off and then put it back on, because this would be our graffiti, you know, which is different. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So, I've tried sledgehammering out this road cone before, traffic cone. And I don't think it worked, but I'm going to give it one last try, because I refuse to believe this cannot be removed somehow. Look at that, actually, that does look like it's working good. Awesome source. We also want to make some changes to our little medical bay as well. Um, it's nice, I like the look of it, but I think we can do better. I think it needs some uh, storage, uh, some workspace. Uh, maybe uh, running water would be nice. I think we're going to take out two of these beds and we're going to probably put in like an L shape of uh, cabinets, maybe one of those big metal cupboards. We'll need all that stuff later when we redecorate. goes today's light bulb. Seriously, I lose at least one light bulb a day in this space. Probably two, because I doubt I hear them all go. We're, we're probably burning light bulbs as fast as we're burning cigarettes. Which is not normally a problem that I think people run into in Project Zomboid. So we can build, yes, we can build these big metal lockers. I'm, I'm not sure if that's vanilla or one of the mods we've got, but uh, this one actually takes quite a lot of resources. 
Let's see what we've got. The door hinges and uh, that, that might be the limiting factor. We've got some around the place, but it's not something that I'm good at putting all in one spot. Honestly, I don't actually reference these shelves that often. We've got, uh, we've got weapons here for days and days, and you know, since I'm not cracking them over the skulls of zombies, um, they're just not running out. Yeah, we're getting most of our work done with the firearms these days, and and have for quite some time. It's actually funny whenever I run into a sprinter, I'm um, I immediately get a huge yellow streak and run, whereas. If I were to start a brand new Sprinters playthrough, yeah, you leave your house, maybe you've got a griddle plan, you see four Sprinters, like, okay, let's go do this. I think part of my nerves is obviously that you don't want to lose a character so far into a run, um, but also the, the much worse line of sight, it really uh, makes things difficult. I think with Sprinters, essentially, oh, with Sprinters especially, the problem is that you can get into a fight that you've already lost like if you're standing there and you turn around and suddenly there are you know five sprinters running at you um you, there might be some ways to survive that like if there's some low fences nearby or tall fences nearby a window a car like there are things that you can do to maybe get out of that but your best bet was to just never get into that situation We probably should have taken that door out ages ago. There's not much point in having just one of them here, and then I think that's actually quite a nice look. Just, um, you know, nice, nice open look. And there we go, there's a cupboard. We actually have a bunch of doors around the place that uh, we could either build or other ones that we could get rid of. I've been avoiding building doors because they, all, they, they have to look like that sort of rickety wooden door, like you can't plaster doors and make them look really good. I know there are mods to let you build other doors or steal doors from other places and install them. Um, but there's also the fact that if I had more doors, I'd just have to keep closing them behind me, because you close doors behind you. Okay, yeah, that'll look good. I think that'll look good with the steel cabinets as well. It'll give a very, hopefully a very sterile look. Should have a corner piece as well. Okay, it's a lot of bench space. It's a lot of storage uh, storage space. Let's get this medical bed to storage. I don't think we'll we'll probably never install it somewhere, but yeah, no, we definitely don't want to be trying to tuck that in here. Do I want to turn those other beds around, maybe? I'll have a think about that, whether I want the sort of the heads facing the wall or heads up by the wall. For some reason there are just tons of pianos in this area. Like there's probably 14 mostly derelict buildings in this part of the map and I don't know there's probably three, maybe four pianos in there. That's quite a lot of pianos. I'm wondering if it was just like a new art asset when the air was developed, so like, hey, let's chuck in some pianos. There goes another light bulb. God oh, damn it, light bulbs. Okay, so we can start moving all this medical stuff to, to the actual cupboard in the room and the cabinets. I'm not going to sort it out in the different cabinets. Then we can start um, decorating the cabinet tops. Uh, I think I'll leave the meat cleaver. That's not exactly to theme. Although, I guess for a zombie apocalypse it, it probably is. So at some point we will probably level Chloe's medical skill up. I know first aid's a bit of a joke in Project Zomboid because uh, if you're not playing multiplayer, then you know, most of the time the injuries uh, are inconsequential. Like it's it's the Nox infection that kills you, 
or it's getting dragged down and eaten alive that kills you. Uh, but just a you know, a bite or something like that. Well, not a bite. Is it a bite back? Uh, just a, a bunch of scratches from bushes or falling off things is not generally a problem. I mean, if you if you break your leg early in a run, that that's a real pain in the leg. Uh, but uh, at this point, I mean, like we we went through that car crash and we were okay. And uh, Chloe, like everyone else who plays Project Zomboid, is a slow healer. For precisely that reason, that healing is fairly unnecessary. With the exception of things like a CDDA start. Maybe some of the other odd challenges. I don't tend to carry around um, alcohol wipes. They're actually quite heavy. Quite heavy for my little medical bag. There we go. Um, I've left a space there because we are going to want to sink in here eventually, though I don't think I have any spare sinks. Uh, we'll have to go steal some, and that's. That should be a small thing. Yeah, let's see what these look like with the pillow towards the wall. And then we'll have to pick up the stuff underneath it. Uh, yeah, so we have some sinks still out in the neighborhood, but I'm fairly certain there's going to be some zombie respawns out in those buildings. Uh, so that's not just a duck out over the fence and pick one up. Oh, that, that did bounce up on top of all. Yeah, so I want to sink. I'm thinking I also go grab some of our medical textbooks. Yeah. My eyes glanced over my moodles for a second and I saw the, the mannequin. Like, ah. First aid 3, first aid 5, we've probably already read first aid 1. Okay, well that could be an issue if we don't have another first aid 5. If we don't have first aid 2 and 4, then I, I can't start working on that anyway. I wasn't planning on doing it anytime soon, that's a sort of skill where sort of once we're snowed in over the winter, uh, I might spend the I don't know, maybe three days to um, to grind first aid up to level 10, just to say we've done it. A bit like our clothes, we haven't been scratched by zombies since we upgraded all our tailoring maybe nine months ago, longer, uh, but you do it just in case. Having high level medical could potentially be of use at some point, probably not. But it's actually even faster level than tailoring, so it's just a bit gruesome to level. There's sort of no good roleplay way to explain why standing on broken glass is, um, you know, for, for two days straight is is your go-to. Here we go. I still really like these pink walls. I like the white car, uh, the white tiles. Okay, ready? We're gonna leave it there. Super chill decorating episode. I hope everyone's still enjoying the series. If you made it this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe do that. Either way, you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.